Tonight, we're also looking at how COVID-19 is impacting our veterans and how it's being handled by the VA. Six News reporter Cole Johnson sat, sat down for a one on one interview with the Secretary of Veterans Affairs to get some answers. They've served on the front lines for our country, and now our veterans, like us all, are dealing with a pandemic. The benefit of dealing with veterans is that they've, they've been in tough situations before, and they responded very well uh, based on their experiences. That's Robert Wilkie. He's the United States Secretary of Veterans Affairs. He says when looking at COVID-19 cases, 16,000 vets have tested positive, with about 14,000 recovered. Hospitalizations. They're incredibly low. I mean, we're, we're somewhere around 350 uh, COVID patients in a hospital system that has 14,000 beds. Speaking of positive cases, let's talk testing. Secretary Wilkie says if veterans are showing signs, they can get a test. They're not at the point where tests are just given out to anyone. Because we do have patients within our system we have to take care of and we have to take care of our frontline workers. Secretary Wilkie says right now they are preparing in the case of a possible bounce back in fall and winter. We're storing up supplies. We're reviewing our lessons learned so that uh, we can go back and see what worked and what didn't work. And um, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be OK if this thing comes back. We asked about how they plan to stay ahead of the coronavirus. Here's what Secretary Wilkie had to say. We're not going to stand down our emergency operations. However, uh, we are going to, when the need arises and when the situation on the ground uh, is, is applicable, uh, we're going to return those hospitals and clinics to normal operations. That was Cole Johnson for us. Now, Secretary Wilkie does advise veterans to look at the messages they're sending out, follow the guidelines, and call if they don't feel well.